All right, so today we have a new My Math Lab glitch. All right, let's get into this. So you're on a question, right? You don't know how to answer it. So the first thing you do is you want to get it wrong, all right? Or just guess, essentially. Put in anything just completely random. Click check answer. You click check answer. Then you click final check. And now you get the answers. So now you have decreasing for the first part and three for the second. All right? And now you want to pay attention to the numbers that we have, right? So we have 21737, right? So we want to write these down. Very important. So just give me a second to write these down. We've got 21, we've got 7, 3, and we've got 7, right? With the answer being decreasing and 3. So if we're lucky, we'll get the same question right away, or we'll get the same question later on after getting it wrong over and over again. Because the way my math lab works is sometimes with its questions, is it repeats them, it repeats the numbers, because it's based on a pro random uh, generi um it's based on a random program, so sometimes you get the same numbers. It's all completely random. All right, it's a similar question. Well, we know it's decreasing, but we don't actually know the value because the answer to the other one was three. So we don't know, well, we could put three, like, let's say maybe it's three. No, it's not. No, so we keep getting it wrong over and over. It ends up being five. So now we add five to the answer pool. So now we have an option. So it's going to be decreasing always. Either it's three or five. So now we go similar question again. Decreasing. Let's try three. Doesn't work. Let's try five. Oh, look at that. Five worked. So there you have it. Sometimes the numbers repeat and a lot of the answers actually do repeat as well. I really hope this guys um, this helped you guys out a lot. Really hope this saves you a lot of time. And uh, take care and good luck.